Hi guys, this is Puneet here and today I'm going to talk about the six legitimate business purposes which GDPR provides you. Yes, the six legitimate business purposes. So GDPR allows you to make processing of personal data for six different reasons and these are a contractual agreement that is you have signed a contract with the individual to make processing for that service or for certain types of activities. Second, a legitimate interest that is you need to process the personal data of your client for existence of your company. For example, I come in and sign a contract to provide services and your contract did not say that you will send me invoices. Now sending of invoices does involve processing of personal data but it's a legitimate interest for your company to exist. The third one is for legal compliance. Let's say you are in a service accommodation business and the law requires you to pass on the details of whosoever stayed in your uh, apartment or house with the government. Now if you do that, that is called compliance with legal rules or compliance with laws. So that's also a valid reason. The fourth one is processing for vital interests of individual. That is, let's imagine I'm in your shop or in your company and I have a heart attack. Now are you going to say, hey, let him die because it's GDPR protected and we can't process his personal data? No, no. What you're going to do is you're going to call the ambulance, take the wallet out of my pocket find out my ID card and let even maybe my wife know that there's a situation like that. And then GDPR exempts you under the category protection of vital interest. The fifth category is for public service or statistical purposes. Now that's something we don't need to go into detail because that's for government organizations and public se sector. The other four do apply to you. And the sixth uh, legitimate business purpose is consent. So if you cannot find any of the other five as relevant, that is, you don't have a contractual agreement, you can't justify it as a legitimate interest, you do not think it is for protection of vital interest, and you do not think it is for compliance with the law, and of course it's not a statistical or public sector reason, you will choose consent and I must tell you if you choose consent the customer can always withdraw or the individual can always withdraw consent and then you'll need to stop processing the personal data for that reason. Understand that consent is different from other five legitimate business purposes. There you decide whether you process or not and if the business purpose is fitting is as a re one of the reasons. However, if it's consent then the customer has the right to withdraw and you'll need to stop at any moment. In summary, there are six legitimate business purposes for execution of a contractual agreement, for compliance with the law, for legitimate interest of your company or statistical and historical purposes and consent. If you like this video, please like and comment below and I like to read your comments. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.